<laughs> if I go back to the dashboard, you'll find that I have three stores registered in this particular system. And of course, this particular system, just as we've said over and over again, it can't run more than one particular store or selling point. Now, you can have a different set of items sold or stocked in a given store, which is different, of course, from another store. So if I go to store X and store Y, I'll maybe have my soda in store X and not my, have my soda stored or sold in store Y. It's very possible in businesses. Now, the process of availing this particular soda in store X, Y, and Z is called redistribution of items. And how do I ensure that this particular item is available for sale or for stocking in a given store? I'll have to do something called redistribute items. To redistribute items, you will come to the item or product section, that is uh, products in bracket inventory. I'll click on stocks. So after clicking on stocks, there is this particular button called redistribute item. Now, if I click on that, it will give me a list of all the stores which are available. And of course, this particular uh, form input called get items. So for example, if I want the soda to be available in the garden store, I'll click on garden store and I'll search for the soda 300 ml. That is the product 283. And I can, of course, add several items here, which I want associated with that particular store. So I'll only add for now soda. We have got, of course, an all button and all item selection here. If you want to add everything, just select all and everything will be sent to or associated with that particular store. I'll add soda and remove the iPhone tablet and to my soda 300 ml. We have all these particular options, that is distribute, rollback, override store. Distribute is to do the transaction of mapping this soda to garden store. Rollback, if checked, is to undo the process that the distribute option does. That means if I already associated this soda to, I, uh, to garden store, and I want that particular action undone, then I'll select rollback. Then you have override stock. Override stock is to allow you override the stock that is already existing in the garden store. For example, if my soda has already been distributed to this store or associated with this store, and I needed to update it with the initial opening stock, of course, registered during item registration, then I'll choose on override store. It will update it to the initial opening store as at the time the item was being registered. Then of course, I have got the last section here called if, if distribute, that means if my first selection, then would you like to transfer this particular item with the current opening stock? Yes. That means if this is a new distribution, Remember, it is not overriding. This is a new distribution. Overriding stock happen if the distribution had been done earlier on. So if it is a new distribution, and I want, or I want to carry this particular distribution with the initial opening stock, then I'll click a yes. If I don't want to do that, then I'll just click a no. I'll just leave it to this, and then click on submit. Nice. So once that is done, I'm so sure that part, my particular item called soda 300 ml has been distributed to the garden store. How do I confirm that? Just within this particular page, you have got this particular select option here, and I'll select the garden store. Once I select garden store, it will get me the, all the list of items in the garden store. I'll search for my soda. I search for my soda 300 ml, and of course, you can see my soda 300 ml is already registered here, and of course, with the mask price, and of course, with all this particular information. So, that is how to redistribute an item.
till I give and store. Thank you.